Every day at 610, we are bringing you stories that are... Whoa! Whoa! What's that up with the music this my morning? Eardrum out. <laughs> These are stories that are good for your oh. eardrums <laughs> and good to know. Stories that are good to know. Um, so today's a good one. Today marks one week out from Valentine's Day. Yeah, but it's also another milestone. Did you know that by the 14th, February 14th, most people have just kicked their New Year's resolutions to the curb. I actually oh. thought that was January 14th. I know, me too. I'm like, this, they lasted this long? Good for but, you. Okay. But here's the deal. You can still get back on track. And here's how to revamp your resolutions into goals that you truly can and truly want to reach. The first thing you do is think about those resolutions. Uh, did you pick the right one for starters? Experts say you may not stick to a goal if you set it in the heat of the moment. You, th uh, you should also think about what's good for you and pick a resolution that you're really, truly passionate about. So a columnist with the New York Times put together some quick guidelines and he uses an acronym SMART. So the S is for specific, set concrete, clearly defined goals. M, measurable, find ways to measure your progress. Next is achievable. You want to set your sights high, but within reason. R is for relevant, set a resolution that's important enough so you can actually stick to it. And then T is for time bound. Write down a timeline that gives you enough time to reach those goals. Maybe you can get to March 14th instead of <laughs> February 14th. I feel like you need to be smart to remember all of those things. There you that's go. That's a lot, yeah. <laughs>